And in five games, the Los Angeles Lakers will take down the Denver Nuggets and the Lakers are headed back to the NBA Finals. Guys, we lost to the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Nobody thought we'd be here. It was down 3-1 to Utah in the first round. It was down 3-1 to uh, the Clippers in the second round. Made it to the Western Conference Finals. The first time I've been out the first round in my career. Um, unbelievable season. These guys have, have been absolutely amazing. Um, the coaching staff, the front office, you know, my teammates, um, literally everybody. You know, equipment managers, trainers, everybody's been, um, you know, great. Um, and I think I've been here maybe like 75 days. But it's been a long journey, a long ride. Um, every day was a, was a mental challenge to be in the bubble, you know, away from your family. Um, and literally do the same thing every single day. Um, but we did it. And, um, you know, this is the end of a great year, um, a weird year. But, you know, I started off with the Lakers and ended up uh, being with the Nuggets and both teams were in the Western Conference Finals. So I'm very appreciative of the moment, very appreciative of the opportunity. Um, and I just want to say thank you to the Denver Nuggets organization. Um, but it's time to wrap up, man. It's time to pack up. As you guys can see, I got tons of boxes that I need to pack up because I've been getting clothes sitting here literally every day in shoes. So we're wrapping things up. Got to pack up and get up out of here. Cancun on three, baby. One, two, three. Yo, I literally don't know where to start. Like, I'm like, like, don't know where to start. <laughs> it's so much stuff. Okay, just start with opening your luggage that you're gonna, um, what you're gonna take on the trip with us. What should I take? Just swim shorts. Swim shorts and shirts. Like just some uh -huh. regular like t-shirts and some stuff. Yeah. Um, sandals and that's literally pretty much it. Tape it. I leave in like four hours too, bro. I don't know how I'm gonna get all this stuff out in time. I think I'm gonna have to go ask for some help. Got a pack. Man, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. As you guys can see what is going on here, it is an absolute mess. Absolute mess. We almost done though. Almost done. Probably I'm probably about five percent done. We almost done. <laughs> Dude, crazy. We got about three hours left now. It's been about two hours. Alright. Oh. oh. Five hours later. Finally done. Five hours later. Crazy. Three months worth of stuff, man. All in one hotel room. Crazy. Finally done. Finally done, now off to Cancun with the white feet for three days and then going to see the kids right after. See you there. All right guys, finally left the bubble. Just got to Mexico. Check this out. Ooh, it's about that time. The hand sanitizer? Oh, yeah. Look at oh, Ivy. It's crazy. I have here a welcome drink. It's a green juice, very tasty and delicious and healthy. Uh, it's cucumber, honey, lime, water, and, and, and a pine time. called chaya. As well as a welcome snack, it's uh, amaranth. It's a cereal green, very popular in Mexico with healthy snacks. 
covered with some dark chocolate. And also I have a welcome kit right here. It uh, has some face masks, um, wipes, and antibacterial gel in case you need some um, during your stay. So we're sitting here waiting on our rooms. This hotel is absolutely amazing. Say what's up to the camera, beautiful lady. She is so Hi. beautiful. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna show you the villa when we get in there and get situated and we're on vacation. For two, for three, what, three or four days? Four days. Four days, all right. Yeah. Trying to give you guys some more content. Vacation time. Being a pretty lady. And we're gonna try not to be on our phones. Try, I'm not gonna be on my phone. I got one phone call to make after this and then that's it. So, checking out. Yep. See? Look at her feet though. Check the feet out. These are my bubble Crocs. Bubble Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take you to the beach, to the spa, restaurants, lobby, anywhere you need to go. This is crazy. I really feel like I'm in Bali. This is our first trip of many trips. You guys let us know where else y'all want us to go. We'll see if we can work that out. Because I'm balling nice on the budget. Oh, that's a nice little gym right there. Probably won't be using that. I have to. <laughs> I, probably won't, I probably will not be using that. I am on vacation. I don't want to see a gym. I want to probably drink one soda. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Okay. Ooh, welcome to my humble abode. Welcome. Look at all this privacy you have. Man. Wow. Beautiful pool, jacuzzi. Damn, this is all us? This is all for you. What? On this side here, you have the living room space. <laughs> Oh, this thing is crazy. You also have an outdoor table right by the edge of the canal. Oh yeah, I see it, yeah. You ain't gotta worry about no snakes and no uh, zebras or anything. Right? Zebras, no. Um, <laughs> you will see lots of iguanas, geckos, geckos turtles, um, birds. No alligators in there? Mm, alligators, there's four or five, but they're deep in the lagoon. Okay. Please mind your step. Make sure they stay in the lagoon. Ooh. Look at the hammock. Oh yeah, you've been wanting a hammock. <laughs> yeah. That's our hammock. Another TV here. Yeah. This is so cute. I mean, you're gonna love, absolutely love the stunning bathroom. That's the stunning bathroom, babe. Shower Ooh. with steam room. Shower with steam room? Yes. Nice. And steamer. As well as you have the bathroom separate, walk-in closet with kimonos, slippers, sandals. Oh, Ooh. yeah, this is like my vibe. It's the details that count, man. It's the details that count. Check this that sink out. Upstairs. Look at that sink. Oh my gosh. This way is upstairs. This way? Ooh. So cute. The outdoor shower. The outdoor shower. Spa beds up here. It's the details. It's the details that count. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, I'm checking out. See you later. Finally back home, man, and I'm glad to be out the bubble. It was an overall great experience, but um, I'm just glad to be back home. See my family, see my daughter, um, my mom, my girl. You know, I just take a huge deep breath just because the bubble, you know, took a toll on me. Um, and I know it took a toll on, you know, the coaching staff and, you know, the players. Um, it was an overall fun experience, but I know we're all just happy to be back. I think the NBA did an amazing job, um, you know, for the bubble to be so successful as it was. I think we maybe only had one COVID test, if that. You know, I think they did an amazing job, but it really took a toll on my mental, you know, being in the room all the time and just being in that actual bubble for three months. So I'm really glad to be back. If you would have asked me, do you think, you know, the outcome would have been what it was before? I'm like, no. But it was absolutely unbelievable the run that we had, you know, in the first round with Utah 
with Jamal and, and Donovan really going off. I mean, I, it was absolutely insane. And then, you know, to have that that series um, and how it ended was great. Um, it definitely took a toll on everybody's mental, but, you know, the, phys the physical part of it with Jamal and, and, and the guys that were playing, I mean, I know it took a huge toll on those guys as well. Um, and then we had to transfer over literally the next day. And that's something that's not normal um, if you're outside the bubble in the regular life. Um, that's not normal where you take from one series and the next day or, you know, the day after that, you go into the next series. So um, we did that with the Clippers and it was tough. I mean, it was literally tough. Um, we had to, you know, focus our mindset on the Clippers and, you know, what they brought to the table. And, you know, we took care of business there too. Um, literally shocked the world. You know, we were down 3-1 with Utah. We were down 3-1 with the Clippers and we literally shocked the world. It's something that has never been seen before ever. When you come back twice, 3-1 um, in, in a playoff run. And um, it was just a, a blessing just to be a part of it, to, to see how hard the coaches work night in and night out and to see how hard our teammates literally work night in and night out to, to be able to do something and accomplish something like that is, is I mean, absolutely great. And the way Jamal played, the way uh, Big Joker played, those guys were literally um, our two leaders and we piggyback off of them, you know what I mean? So um, that, that was a great experience. And to transfer over to the Lakers um, series, it was, obviously it was big for me because I've came from, you know, the Lakers in the same year. So, um, you know, it was a little, little bittersweet. You know, I miss seeing my guys, but also to be able to try to beat them you know, and, and take away that championship would have been, you know, absolutely amazing. But they're an amazing team. Um, you know, I wish them the best, and it was it was a great experience for us um, as the Nuggets to be able to to play those guys and see where, where we're actually at. But I just think we're, we were a little burnt out um, by that time we got to them, and you know, the rest is history. They actually won a championship, so it was a fun overall experience, and I, I would I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like the whole bubble experience was absolutely great. Now that I'm out. I'm outside the bubble. I have a lot of people asking me what I'm gonna do next. Um, what, 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 like what's next or, or are you working out? Are you doing this? And we have a lot of stuff planned um, in the future. Um, I don't wanna, you know, tell you guys everything, but I'm definitely gonna be vlogging a lot more than, than usual. Um, as well as I have a couple, you know, collaborations with other people. And I'm thinking about starting a family page with me and my girl um, and, our two, and our two little girls. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but I have a lot of stuff planned for you guys, so be looking out for that. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my followers on, on YouTube and all my social media accounts. I just want to say thank you for supporting me um, through this process. Obviously, I didn't know exactly what I was doing when I was doing it, but um, it turned out great, and you guys were the biggest part of it, so I just want to say thank you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, um, you know, whatever it is that you do on YouTube or whatever the other social media platforms there is, but please stay connected to me. Um, because there will be a lot more content coming your way very soon. So once again, thank you to all my fans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, see you soon.